Hi. Now for this question, we've got to find uh, dy by dx when we've got parametric coordinates. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution, or as usual, you might want to fast forward just to quickly check it out. Okay? So welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, in order to find dy by dx when you've got parametric coordinates, you've got to remember that dy by dx is going to be equal to, by the chain rule, dy by dt multiplied with dt by dx. Okay, so on that basis, what we need to do is find out, say, dx by dt, and then we can reciprocate it. So if we start then with x equaling 1 over t minus 1, then if I write this as equaling, well, 1 over t is t to the power minus 1, and then we've got minus 1 there. So we've got x equaling that. So if we differentiate this with respect to t, dx by dt, is going to equal minus t to the power minus 2. Then I suppose I could write this then as minus 1 over t squared and then reciprocate this to get dt by dx. dt by dx would equal minus t squared. Okay, so that's that part. And uh, if we just border that off there, let's work with y now get dy by dt. We know that y equals 2t plus 1 over t squared and this is exactly the same as 2t then plus t to the power minus 2 and differentiating this we've therefore got dy by dt equals 2 and then for this term it's going to be minus 2t to the power minus 3 which I could rewrite as 2 minus 2 over t cubed. So we've got dt by dx and dy by dt, so I can substitute them into here. So therefore we've got dy by dx equals dy by dt, which is going to be this here, so that will be 2 minus 2 over t cubed. And that is multiplied by dt dx, which is minus t squared. And with this, we could multiply it out. So we're going to have, well, I'm going to if I multiply out, let's take the positive one first. So we're going to have negative, negative there. So we're going to have 2t squared over t cubed, which is going to be 2 over t. And then 2 times minus t squared is minus 2t squared. And there you go. Okay, simplified answer.